Hi folks, good day from Ireland, Jonathan Paris my name. Today I'm going to show you how to create a custom pricing table for WordPress Ultimo like this. We're going to use short codes from the WordPress Ultimo knowledge base. I'll put links to all this stuff in the comments under the video. So what we want to do is copy and paste this short code into our button on our custom pricing table. So what we need is the plan ID and you can set the frequency to one or three for quarterly and 12 for yearly bill billing. So we want to go over to Ultimo and our plans. And if we go to plan three, I can see that the ID of the plan is 71. So what I've done here is used one of Paul Lacey's uh, really nicely designed pricing tables that comes with the new version of Beaver Builder. You can find these under rows, pre-built rows, and I think he's done close to nearly a hundred uh, pre-built rows now at this stage, and they're really nice, fabulous stuff. So anyway, I have used one of those pre-built rows there, and all we have to do is go to the button of our pricing box and just paste in that short code for you. your plan is there. Plan ID is 71 for that plan and I set the frequency just to one for monthly. Just leave it at that. And I've saved that. I'll just do one. I don't have to do the three of them, but you get the idea just to get the theory across the concept idea. So I have a incognito window here just for testing this custom pricing table. And when I click this, it'll bring me straight to the template and I can select a template like that. So what's nice about this as well is we can actually do the exact same thing with it with a landing page. I've set up a landing page here. So it's just one of the pre-designed uh, landing pages that come with ultimate add-ons or something there. But anyway, I've done the exact same thing here I have put the exact same short code into the button there. What I like about this is that we could create a plan, say we're running a, an advertisement campaign on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, and you mightn't want that plan on the main table. Say that you're doing a once off lifetime discount or something like that. So we can create a custom uh, landing page for that promotion like this. So there it is, same short code into the link is there save that done and i'll go back over to my incognito window here and i have my i thought i had my landing page here that i'm on about yet and it's the same thing that when you click it you go to the templates you know there's another thing that we can do as well which is probably better for a landing page is we can even have the the template and the plan in the in the uh, in the URL here so I couldn't actually find this on the knowledge base I had to go back to an old e email that I was talking to Arindo about this so you know the best thing to do is actually ask him how to do it maybe or something like that you know because I couldn't I couldn't find where the documentation was but basically if you read the URL here we can see that the plan ID is there 70 one is there and the frequency is one there and it actually says here select and skip plan one and template id three like that so control a control c so if i go back now to my landing page and i'm going to change that short code to that big long url so this time when i go back to the my landing page here it it should um it should skip the template selection and the plans selection as well goes go straight into sign up see that so you're taking a step out which is very good you know so if you had a really nice landing page and uh, a big shiny button to sign up whatever you know and you're making it very easy taking them straight to the 
to the website creation there so that's it folks hope you learned something from that thanks very much bye for now